Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to start for the Math Kangaroo. First, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Candy. Um, I graduated from Columbia University. I've been teaching at Think Academy for four and a half years now. So mainly I'm doing the Math Kangaroo coaching as well as for the lower elementary school in-person teaching. So today for the webinar, we are going to go over the um, Math Kangaroo sign up process. Also to give you a little bit more intro about Math Kangaroo. All right, first of all, uh, I do want to do a quick survey about everyone's knowledge for Math Kangaroo. Uh, so if you would like, please uh, share with me your uh, knowledge for Math Kangaroo in the chat box. Okay, so if you say, I know nothing about Math Kangaroo, can you type A? I say, if you know a little bit about Math Kangaroo, you can type B. Uh, if you say, I know a lot about Math Kangaroo already, uh, you can type C. All right. Great, thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you for the little participation. Um, I do see many of us still on the early stage knowing about Math Kangaroo. A few of us know a little bit more about Math Kangaroo. Okay, so let's level up first. Uh, first, let's know about what is Math Kangaroo and why we should be attending for our child. Um, so. Math Kangaroo, it is the first step into the math competition. It is a suitable competition for children from grade one all the way to grade 12. So there are not many competition allow younger kids attending. Math Kangaroo is one of them that allows starting from grade one. So uh, many, many, many students attending Math Kangaroo uh, using uh, as a first step into math competition. And this competition is held every year on third Thursday of March. So this year, 2025 Math Kangaroo date is March the 20th, 2025. Pay attention. This is a Thursday, middle of the week. You can mark your calendar and that's the day uh, we will hold our competition. All right, a little bit more about the different levels. Okay, so you will see level one to level 12. So first of all, level one to level four, which is the first grader to fourth grader. Uh, the total question for the math competition is 24 questions, all multiple choice, and they will take 75 minutes. Okay, the full score they can get is 96 point. And starting from level five to level 12, the total question we have is 30. And uh, it's still going to be 75 minutes and the total score we will be uh, having is 120 points. So a student, if you are attending an in-person math, uh, math kangaroo competition, they will see a paper as well as the uh, bubble sheet, okay? All right. And to give you a little bit sample questions for different levels. So Think Academy uh, in person will be hosting level one to level six for a uh, level one to level two, which is for school grade, first grader to second grader. Uh, you will see many logical reasoning and uh, logical thinking observation pattern questions. So this is some sample questions they can see uh, in the real math competition, uh, math kangaroo competition. So it does require the student able to independently reading the question by themselves, also do basic calculation, which is the addition and subtraction, also a little bit understanding for multiplication and division. All right, okay, so that is the level one, two, and for grade three uh, to grade four. All right, for grade three to grade four, take a look. Um, the difficulty level does increase a little bit, and then it is for school grade, third grade, and a fourth grade. And it will be uh, talking more on the word problem and geometry questions. So also uh, incorporate the accounting and statistic, like data measurements. So the fundamental knowledge is very, very crucial. Okay, all right, and level five to level six, which is the school grade, grade five to grade six, and the duration remains the same. Pay attention, it's still 75 minutes for the whole competition. However, the total number of questions is 30 questions now. So uh, the same amount of time, but they have more questions. It does require the student to work faster and 
it will incorporate a little bit more on the number theories, the applied word problems, also the geometry questions. So uh, no matter what grade you're attending for math, competi math kangaroo competition, it is a very fun competition, all right? The content does not go beyond the school syllabus, but it's highly comprehensive, meaning it's gonna cooperate different topic altogether. And then it's a very fun, engaging competition and they can make many, many uh, uh, like little rewards like uh, and gift during the competition. All right, and there are some MK stats. So I hope everyone know, and also why we announced Math Kangaroo is a very famous and uh, popular competition. So first of all, uh, it started in 1998 and all the way to 2024. So next year will be year 28. So uh, each year we will have different amounts. So for 2024, actually this year, that we ended in the March, we have about uh, 40,000, 44,000 of participants in just in the US that participate in Math Kangaroo. All right, and in 2024 in the USA, uh, you can see the most popular grade to attend Math Kangaroo is from grade one to grade six, okay? And uh, people, student beyond grade six, uh, starting to moving on for the next part of math competition. Normally, they will move on to AMC 8, okay? So uh, you can see uh, it is still very uh, popular from grade one all the way to grade six. And starting from grade seven, many students will move on to AMC 8. All right, and particularly in California, okay? California is a big state to attending Math Kangaroo. And so just in California last year, we have about 17, almost 18,000 participants in California. And Math Kangaroo will have two different uh, rewards. So one is called national winners, one is called state winners. So national winner, normally they will award top 20 and state winners will award top three and they will have a full score. So in 2024, we total have uh, 4,800 students awarded top 20 in the country and total of 1,700 uh, 1700 students uh, ranked top three at a state. Okay, so it will by state have a ranking and by nationally will have a ranking. All right, and also uh, many schools is becoming the testing site and they start encourage uh, students to participate in Math Kangaroo. So you can also research, search on the official website later to see if your school is hosting Math Kangaroo. Okay, if you willing, uh, if you would like to participate uh, in your school math competition, it also works really depending on your convenience and also uh, which site you would like to participate. Okay, and the second part I want to walk through is how to choose the level and then how to choose the testing format. So again, please mark your calendar for the 2025 Math Kangaroo official date. Okay, it will be on a Thursday next year on March the 20th. And the enrollment fee this year is $18. Uh, it is a little bit lower compared to the regular registration fee. That is because Math Kangaroo official this year, they canceled the t-shirt. Okay, they're gonna give out uh, the small card instead of the t-shirt. So the enrollment fee decreased this year. All right, and how to choose level. Please choose the level based on your actual school grade. Grade one and grade two is level one to level two. Grade three and grade four is level three to level four. Grade five and grade six is level five to level six. Each level will share the same paper, but they will have a separate awards. For example, level one and level two is for first grader and second grader, okay? And so they will have exactly the same test paper. They're gonna see the same test paper. So uh, when they come to a testing site or do a test, uh, they will have the same grade doing the same paper, but the award will be uh, calculated separately. So say 300 people, 100 of them is grade one, 200 of them is grade two, then they're gonna separate calculating the awards and then the ranking. Okay, and if you are Think Academy long-term student, for example, if you are Think Academy, you're at grade three, but in school, you are actually grade two. Please choose grade two. 
to do the level two competition. Do not jump a grade, okay? So make sure you are selecting and participating in the actual school grade. All right, and the second question I received mo uh, mostly is about which format I should be attending. Should I choose in-person or choose online? Okay, so online will do in a comput uh, computer test. So you will be on your computer and you need two de couple device, uh, multiple device to attend during the test day because uh, even on the online testing center, it does require to be uh, monitored. So normally the student will have a computer and also have an iPad to join whatever um, other uh, uh, Normally, for example, Think Academy Online, I will require two devices. One is a big computer, the other one is a Zoom, okay? So I can see your face, I can see you are doing this individually at home, no one is helping you, okay? And however, for the online, uh, people choosing it because it's very convenient, you don't need to leave home on uh, that day, you can just do it at home and do it by yourself, very quiet, and uh, it's a very familiarized environment, okay? And however, the downside for online testing is that you don't have the uh, chance to taking down notes or do scratch paper. And especially if you see geometry problems or pattern problems, it's very hard for them to uh, kind of do it on a computer or measure on the computer. Okay, and then for the in-person, it will be a traditional testing method. More likely is the paper plus the bubble sheet. Okay, so the actual exam paper will allow the student to uh, do the marking and note taking. And also uh, you will see, at, especially I think Academy, they'll come into a classroom and you will see many, many students who are in the same age doing the competition all together. Okay, and however, the younger age group, especially I see grade one and grade two may influence each other easily and some of the students don't know how to fill the bubble sheet. So it does need, a, there's a up and down for each different format, parents can choose uh, by yourself, okay? And so we're gonna walk through uh, the sign up. So again, choose, uh, we'll participate in your actual grade and then you will choose an online, testing format or in-person testing format. Okay, so let's uh, prepare to sign up for 2025 Math Kangaroo. All right, so right now I am walking you through for Silicon Valley in-person, in-person uh, exam. So this is our time for the in-person time on 2025, March the 20th. So we will have three sessions, session one, session two, and session three. So choose the time that most convenient to you. And Think Academy in person will have two different testing sites. We'll have a San Jose testing site, which is located in uh, 1081 South Dianza Boulevard, or we have a Los Auto site, which is uh, 4984 West El Camino Real Street. Okay, so now I think teacher Jimmy just text everyone to enter the Think testing site. So you can open this link. Okay, once you open this link, you will see all the choices that's for Think Academy, that's online uh, or in person. It can be in Bellevue, it can be in Seattle, it can be in Irvine. Okay, so please pay attention. If you are registering for Think Academy, Silicon Valley in person please confirm the site and the time. Pali, I do see your question. Give me one second. I will answer your question shortly, okay? Okay, and so you will see if you wanna come to 1081 South De Anza Boulevard in Cupertino, you can sign up, pay attention, look at Think Academy San Jose. Okay, there are three different sessions, session one, session two, session three. All right, and if you want to go to Los Autos, we also have three sessions, session one, session two, session three. Please make sure, make sure you're looking at the site and then the time correctly. All right, once you choose a site as well as uh, in person, you can log in. Okay, click the $18, there's an arrow on the $18, you can click. If you are a brand new parent, meaning, your child 
never ever registered for Math Kangaroo before, please create account. Okay, so if you already have an account, meaning you already participated in Math Kangaroo before, please log into your account. There are two different things, okay? All right. Okay, so um, let me walk you through. No worries, I will do a step-by-step -step, uh, shortly. Okay, and for parents who already having an account, all right, for Think Academy in-person site, it does need invitation code, all right? Teacher Jimmy already sent it in the invitation. So each session will have different invitation code for in-person. Please note, this is all lowercase, no space. Okay, so think MK1, think MK2, think MK3, think MK4, five and six. For Los Autos, as well as in Cupertino. For Los Autos, only have level one to level four. Yes, we are aware of this uh, questions. I think uh, teacher Tang is, uh, teacher Tang is working to resolve. Okay. All right, so I'm on this side a little bit. Okay, I'm giving you a little bit more time here and to uh, key in the invitation code. Okay, that's for parents who are already having uh, for parents who are already having the account, okay? And for parents who don't have the account, it does be a little bit, little bit tricky. All right, just give me one second. I'm gonna move on to the parents who never registered for account before. All right, and who the parents who are already having an account and willing to do a online uh, competition for with Think Academy, uh, you can choose the online option. Pay attention, it's Think US Online. Okay, they have three sessions as well, and their time is a little bit different. This is for the online invitation code only. Yes, and their code is a little bit longer. If you do it online, uh, will they able to take notes? Will they be able to require to perform mentally? Uh, they cannot leave the online, uh, ex uh, the when they're doing the competition online, you are not allowed to exit the window, okay? And so you do need to uh, make sure they can copy down the notes to another paper. It does create a little bit of trouble. All right, and to answer the police questions, if we take online tests, will the kids receive rank? Yes, right now you're registering for the uh, Proctor online exam. Proctor online exam, meaning you will be uh, entered to the state rank. Okay, and also pay attention because Think Academy Online is in California. So if you do decide to join uh, the online competition, uh, here with Think Academy, you are joining Think Academy state ranking. You are joining California state ranking, okay? If you are in a different state, if you are a different state, you can also go to the website and search for your state uh, uh, in-person or online code. Because yes, California is uh, does be a little bit competitive with this event. All right, this is the online. So for people who have never ever registered for a, a account before, okay? So uh, don't be scared, I'm gonna stop share quickly. I'm gonna show you uh, the website, okay? So give me one quick second. All right, so give me, give me a second. So uh, once you go through the website, once you go through the website, you will see this, okay? You will see uh, create 
uh, log into your account. Okay, so right here, you will on the left side, you will see student registration, search tools, many, many, many different uh, like options. That means you're logging into your portal already. So you can go to my registration on the left side, quick link. Okay, on here says, I don't have anything right now. This is my account, it's a new account. I don't have anything, okay? So on the very, very left side, very, very left side, you can see by invitation. Okay, by invitation, all right? And then, and then you can key in the invitation code that is in the chat box. For example, I wanna choose Los Autos session one. Okay, so I'm just key in, think MK1, all lowercase. All right, when you click enroll, you will see on the right side. Okay, on the right side, the availability, there are a couple seats available and the location and then the date. Okay, so please confirm this, all right? Okay, so on the right side. Okay, and then you click register and you acknowledge and you register. Okay, and for here, uh, it will ask you to enter student's first name, student's last name, genders, school grade level. Okay, sorry, I think there's some issue with last auto site. Right now it only shows me uh, uh, to level four, okay? We should have a level five and level six. So don't worry, we'll fix this. So on here, if you are fifth grader and sixth grader, hold on to it yet, uh, hold on to it now, okay? But uh, if you are uh, from grade one to grade four, you just uh, select the school grade. Say I'm a grade one student, you just select grade one, like grade level one, and they will enter to you for the uh, level one, uh, level one competition. They don't ask you to uh, say, oh, math kangaroo level one, math kangaroo level two. No, you just select the grade, uh, the grade level. Okay. All right. Please double, double, double confirm about your testing date, your location and the price, and then uh, your student information. Okay. And you can add another student in the same account. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the registration code one more time. Yes, thank you, Jimmy. Again, please double confirm the um, different locations as well as the uh, invitation code, okay? And this is just for Think Academy. So if you are thinking uh, registering with your own school or to see if your school is a testing site, please consult with your own school. And if you're from different state, pay attention, Think Academy Online is, on, is in California. So if you do registering with us, uh, you are joining the California state ranking. Yes. Um, hi. Uh, see someone raising hand. You can type in a chat box. Yes, I do think there's some issue with the Los Autos uh, level five and level six. Okay, let me try again. Let me try Cupertino side to see if that issue still works, uh, still happen. Give me one quick second.
Uh, yes, if your kid uh, is in kindergarten, uh, but I think Academy Grade 1, uh, yes, uh, please try to participate and your school grade, please enter Grade 1. Okay, this is the only special case. Let me, uh, give me one second, I'm trying to help uh, answer Murthy's question. Sorry, it's Math Kangaroo site is taking a little bit longer. Yes, you can see the uh, good code here. Okay, so I'm gonna show the code again. So for Silicon Valley in-person code is here and also you can find it in the chat box. And for the uh, for the people who are uh, interested for the online and you can just use the online code. Yes, for yes for grade six, I think there's uh, no one issue for Las Autos, and I'm trying to check if Cupertino having the same issue as well. So I think Math Kangaroo website is down. All right, it's okay. So uh, no worries, we'll keep in touch. Uh, we don't uh, we don't leave you hanging here. Okay, so. Uh, just letting you know, we have a WhatsApp a group for the Bay Area Math Competition discussion. So in here, we will be sharing a little bit more, a um, little bit more on Math Kangaroo, the next step within Academy. We will have some uh, question sharing, and also we will have uh, other uh, short-term classes as well as some uh, in-person mock coming up soon. All right, any cons of participating online versus in person? Uh, I, I'm gonna share a little bit again, uh, really depending on the students, okay? So if they're very, very young, I do recommend them coming to in person just because in person is doing a paper plus the bubble sheet, okay? So they will be able to read the question by themselves, all right? And uh, they can see the whole environment. So last year, Think Academy have uh, about 800 students participated in the competition that day. So they can see many students their age and doing the same thing. And they can uh, see, actually they see many friends here. However, for the younger kids, the trouble is that they cannot read independently. So unfortunately the teacher will not able to help reading the question. Okay. And second, the younger age group, when they're sitting in the same room, thus uh, talk to each other when they finish the exam. Also, some students don't know how to do bubble sheet. That's a con, okay? And the online is doing a computer test. So this, you going on a computer, you click the link on the day off, and then you enter and uh, the competition. So for the online competition, uh, for Think Academy, you do need to be proactors. So the teacher, you also need to log on to a Zoom. So the teacher will see you uh, when you actually doing the exam. So we need to make sure you're doing the exam by yourself. And uh, you do need to have multiple device to do the competition. And however, for online, you just click modification choice on the computer but there is no option for them to taking notes. So if I see a pattern um, for in-person, they can draw, but then for online, they cannot draw on the paper. They need to drag it down, okay? As uh, if they have a geometry question, it'll be very, very challenging for them, okay? So really depending. Also, um, some parents pay attention because it's a Thursday competition. So on the day off, uh, you do need to commute them to the site, okay? So if you say you don't want to, or it's just easier to do it at home, online is the option. If you say, I do want them to 
like really writing down the steps and can draw and to see the environment, in-person site is a choice. Okay, You don't have to be at Think Academy. Think Academy is one of the site. You can also check your own school uh, to see if they can be a, a, the Math Kangaroo hosting site as well. All right. Okay. So uh, again, for the English uh, uh, English uh, preparation, we will have more coming up. Uh, so you can join our WhatsApp Bay Area Math Competition discussion. And for people who are uh, wanting to go come into the Chinese uh, WeChat group, okay. So you can add me on uh, on the WeChat. I can uh, invite you into the WeChat group. Okay, they're the same. All right, I do have one question I did not solve for the uh for Murthy about a uh, level five to level six. It is a known bug. Uh, sorry, we do need to contact Math Can Kangaroo to see what is the issue tonight, and we will send a updated uh sign up link. A sign up instructions. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. I just want to make sure everyone's okay. If you have any questions, please feel free uh, to type in the chat box, and we're really happy to help. Okay, great. All right, so that'll be all for tonight. And thank you everyone for participating. And I will be continue posting more events and uh, we will be uh, share more information for upcoming uh, Math Kangaroo, as well as for the higher grade. If you have a higher grade kids at home, we also host AMC 8 and AMC 10 as well, okay? All right, great. Okay, thank you everyone for your time and thank you. And we'll be sharing the PowerPoints as well as the notes soon.